I bought into it. I wanted to believe it. I wanted to believe that everything Alex Jones said was good and that his motives were pure. And I'm in the office, I'm watching just truckloads of videos going out the back. Not his videos, other people's. And I watched how they would, they would call up and buy people's videos for, for nothing, giving that person absolutely no profit, forcing that person to decide on, well, do they want exposure on the Alex Jones show, and, and do they want to make 50 cents a video? And here's a lump sum of five or $10,000, or not. Now, I've never done this. I always have promoted the people that come on this show so they get 100% of the money that they put into their videos as a profit because I want them to make more films. I want them to be successful. I watched in the office as he was out of town once and, and I was covering for him. Again, this is a story I've never even told my friends. And he had some kind of a special where if you bought right now, you would get an autographed copy of a video or something. And they ran out of autographed copies. I watched as some of the office workers signed the videos, Alex Jones. You, that's right. You got videos with Alex Jones's autograph on it. It's not even his autograph. It was from one of his employees in the office who forged it. So you'd buy it. That is not a person of integrity, folks. And you know, you watch the spin that goes on. The, the headlines, the spin, the jumping to conclusions. The backtracking on predictions. They, oh, it's all about me. And you understand what we have understood now for years. The guy's dangerous. He's dangerous to freedom. He's dangerous to any cohesive movement. He's dangerous to anything that doesn't exalt him as the king. So I, I sympathize with you. I understand that this is confusing for people. What happens is we wake up we go away from the mainstream media, the newspapers, the talking heads. We go into alternative media. We try to find someone we can trust, and we put our trust in them. And the next thing you know, all we've done is walk up to another camp. Ready to pitch our tents, ready to stay there and defend that camp against all evil, whether right or wrong, whether good or evil, instead of going to the other camps. This is the essence of separation consciousness. Really, folks. These, are, these people aren't your friends. These people do not have your best interest at heart. And, uh, yeah, he, he I, does. Know, and, and a lot of times he has to backtrack and he gets you in trouble by saying that. That's, that's for sure. I, you know, once I was in, a, in the studio with him and I had actual documents and he's uh, saying on the radio, oh, I've got the documents right here. I'm holding them in my hand. He didn't even read them. For all he knew, I mean, he just had the story secondhand for me. Now, we did have the documents in that case. Uh, not, that yeah. it, not that it went anywhere, thank you very much. Uh, we had the, the death knell for the toll roads here. Documents snuck out to me. Uh, didn't get a lot of help on that, but to some. And look, I mean, I, I'm not saying everything is bad about this guy, but, but man, I mean, if you look at the, the wreckage, and I once saw him give a speech about wreckers, and I thought that was one of his greatest speeches ever, and then I didn't know he was talking about himself. Now, I'm not going to ask you to, to boycott Alex Jones or to uh, cancel your subscriptions or to withdraw your support or any of that. To me, it doesn't even exist until something like this happens because I just don't listen to it. Any news that comes out out of that channel, out of those websites, I can get anywhere else. It's uh, cut, pace, and embellish over there. You know, I, I, I can talk about the integrity of the man. How many times he's lied to you on the air? I could talk about being in New York and uh, not participating in the, the going to the strip clubs or whatever else is going on. I could tell you that I, I smoke marijuana with Alex Jones. I could tell you that I've drank with Alex Jones, and when he gets drunk, he can't hold his liquor and wants to fight everybody, his friends. Now, I could tell you that he's got people pressured and wrapped around his finger and uh, controls just about everything going on here in the alternative truth freedom movement in Texas, and he doesn't like what's happened with Deborah Medina, which is, usurps his power base. How is it going to look if she gets to be governor and he doesn't get interviews every time he wants it? This scares him, and so he's striking back.
I got to tell you, you know, if she doesn't win, you can blame it on him and Glenn Beck. Now, this is a no win situation for this guy. If she does win, he's on the outside. He ain't getting any interviews. I seriously doubt. Now, can we all reconcile through all of this? Can we? I'll be willing to go sit at a meeting and reconcile the whole thing and bury the hatchet once and for all. As long as I don't have to do anything ugly. As long as I don't have to lie to people. Me, when he was talking about how Alex has sicked his, his uh, fans on Deborah Medina, and, and how I was reading these comments on, on YouTube and, and uh, whatnot, and people were calling her a bitch and a whore.